It's good. Okay, everyone. So what I'm going to do is the braidless sewing. I'm just going to dive right on in. I'm not going to start at the edges. I'm going to start from here. So what you want to do is bring it underneath the hair. And as you can see, I have some left out so that she can put it up into a ponytail. So start from here. And you got to make sure this is really tight because if it's not, it won't work. <laughs> and I have this really long because I'm going to use the same piece of thread throughout all of this. So if it's not tight, it will not stay. So here's my knot. Here. And I am going to then bring this through. Like so. And I'm going to pull it up and over. Remember, this has to be tight or else it won't work. So let me get a better grip on this. So go on to the next one. Pull it through the hair. I actually might have made these pieces of hair too long. Up and over. This is so long, I might have to make my string a little bit shorter. <clears throat> it starts to slip. You can easily take your comb and just push it back Okay, so we have the track here, and I am actually going to go back and double stitch it again, and then add a track. We've had it, added one already down here, but um, I'm going to redo that one because I don't like it. So that's it. As you can see, it's very flat, and when you lift it up, so I'll show you guys after I actually get the track. In. Okay, so I have the track in there as you can see and I'm going to go underneath and pull up some of her hair so you guys can see how it looks you see that you can't even tell that she has a track in her hair at all so we are going to keep going and uh, okay so we have another row done here and her hair stopped 
here. So we're going to have to layer this just a little bit to make it all kind of come together. Her hair is also dyed black. So portions of her hair are actually starting to lighten. So it's lighter than the hair that she has here. So we'll make it blend since the two are actually in her hair. So it kind of looks like her hair is two-tone. So that'll look kind of good. But here goes the track. So what I'm going to do, like I did with the last one, is show you guys how you don't see anything. So let me go in here I'm gonna see I pulled that up you don't see anything let me do that again just so you guys get a better view of that one you see that it's really flat really really flat and then with her hair here See here, you pull it, it's completely flat. And then here's the track starts here. And then if she pulls it up, you have, let me get all her hair in there. There. So let me kind of pull that up. You don't see anything. So I will continue on trying to get this piece to flatten so you can see it up against but I will continue on with this and uh, we'll keep going and I'll show you guys the next product okay so we've gotten the tracks in as you can see I've straightened it we are going to curl it so I'm going to let you see that but let you take a look inside and then when we pull it back you see nothing when I pull it up you see nothing this side you see nothing so I'm gonna curl it and let you guys see what it looks like after that. okay so we have the finished product we have our curls. We have some really, really pretty curls in here. And see how it all blends. Remember up top, this is her hair. And the hair is actually two different colors. So we have the curls. We actually have some really, really pretty curls up in here. So we did not want to cut her actual hair, which is really long. So, you know, we just blended it in pretty well. But the overall is really, really cute. Okay, well that's it for this hairstyle and um, stay tuned for some photos.